There's an incendiary time bomb disguised as a thermos flask, an army mess tin with a bomb hidden beneath the bangers and mash, a high explosive device concealed in a can of motor oil, all devised by German sabotage experts to spread havoc among their British enemies. The drawings were the work of a young artist called Lawrence Fish. Yeah. In her husband's old studio, his widow, Jean, showed them to me. And here they are. Crikey, there's quite a pile of them. Yeah, there's 25 of them at least. The most famous was Lawrence's drawing of an exploding chocolate bar. Nobody's seen it since presumably 1943. No. A letter commissioning him to do it survives, but the original drawing couldn't be found. For 70 years, almost all Lawrence Fish's wartime drawings vanished. Then a few weeks ago, members of the Rothschild family were clearing out their house and came across a sheaf of drawings in a chest of drawers. Victor Rothschild's daughter realised what they were and returned them to Lawrence Fish's family, which is how they ended up here in the Gloucestershire village of Winchcombe. This is where Lawrence and Jean came to live in later years. He became a successful poster artist and painter, putting his wartime drawings behind him. It was interesting work, obviously, but it, it must have been very, very concentrated work. But, uh, you know, the, he, he wasn't going to make any money out of it, so as soon as the war was over, <laughs> he got to do something that, that, that earned him a penny. The drawings were commissioned by Victor Rothschild, who, with his secretary, later his wife, made up two-thirds of MI5's counter-sabotage unit. The young Lawrence was recruited by his police detective father, the third member of Rothschild's team. Rothschild wanted the drawings as a kind of manual for anyone who had to defuse similar devices. The Germans during the Second World War were very keen on destroying ships and their cargoes, leaving neutral ports to the United Kingdom. The idea was to starve Britain into submission. And they created some very ingenious devices that could be smuggled aboard ships, placed in the cargo holds, with with long-term timers. It was, they wanted the ships to catch fire or to sink whilst out at sea. Ah, there it is. Do not unscrew here. Now, Jean Bray hopes a museum or archive will agree to take the pictures. Freehand precision drawings made long before the age of computers and a fascinating record of fiendish wartime ingenuity. Nick Hyam, BBC News, Gloucestershire.